If you're thinking about buying or selling in the Woodlands, Texas, you're going to want to watch this video because the real estate market review for September 2022 is in and it was a crazy month. So we had 170 new listings hit the market last month, which is down 23.77% year over year and 144 homes sold, which is down 29.41% year over year. Now, before I get into the average sales price of those 144 homes, I want to paint a picture here. The average list price to sales price dropped to 98.75%, the lowest we've seen this year so far, and more than half of the homes that sold were below list price. So the first thing I'm sure you're thinking of is home values are down, but that's not the case. The average sales price is up 10.17% to $694,754. Just because homes are selling below their list price doesn't mean that the market value is dropping. If you take a look at the history of home prices in the Woodlands between 2012 and 2020, the average list price to sales price ratio was 97.76%. And yet only two of those years, we saw a decline in home values. In 2016, when the oil market crashed, homes dropped 10.21%. And in 2019, for some reason, homes dropped 0.4%. I think it's really just an anomaly in that market. Nothing necessarily bad happened. It just happened to be a little bit less than 2018. So just because homes are selling below list price doesn't mean that the market values are dropping. Now, we are noticing, because more homes are selling below list price, we're starting to notice a lot more opportunities for buyers to be able to successfully negotiate their terms and their prices and the things that they want. Seller concessions are on the rise, which is a good thing because rates crossed 6% for the first time since 2008, and it really created a shock in this market. We weren't expecting rates to get that high at the beginning of the year, not even close to that. So it really kind of shocked everything so seeing that rates are above 6% and seller concessions are on the rise, use that to your advantage. You can ask for those seller concessions to buy down your interest rate. So instead of paying 6.25, 6.5, or maybe even 7% by the end of the year, buy down that rate and you can save money and still be able to have an affordable payment that you would have had maybe over the summer. So. If you want to know what's going on in your neighborhood, or maybe you want to know how your home stands up in today's market, just let me know. Give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. I'll be more than happy to help.